Uh, now, um, these duplicates are very, very important. I don't know if the gentleman is still there in the call or not, the person who asked for the duplicates. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Now, for duplicates, why is it required? Is See, even today, I have downloaded some from Scopus, some from Science Direct. I have, you know, dragged and dropped, you know, when I use multiple sources in order to populate the library, there could be multiple entries. In that scenario, in order to ensure that I avoid these multiple entries, what I could do is I can go in tools and check for duplicates. I've got how many? 3,182 entries now. It will check the complete library and it says there are 90 sets of duplicates found in all documents. I can do it either at the, uh, you know, from the hierarchical region at the top, or I can do it at a specific folder level as well. And at every such stage, whenever there are duplicates, when you, uh, which is 90 sets, but the numbers might be higher. So when you do this kind of, you know, um, what should I say, small uh, uh, triangle, what you see here, when you double click on it, it will expand. Okay, it will show you the number of uh, papers what it has found to be duplicate. So in this case, it has found two. There could be some which are more than two as well, like two, three, four, or five. All this would be listed in out here. Okay, and for each of this, what it shows is the confidence level. The confidence, what it currently shows is very high, 100%. That means the entries what it has found as duplicates, between the first and the second is exactly the same. The only difference is with this PDF file. Um, in the next scenario or the second entry, again, something similar. In the third case, it is something similar. So I could, you know, look in for this. The most important before I go in for a merge, how to merge them is very easy. Okay, I'll first show with one of them. Then I will take another one as an example. To merge them is for this particular one. So what I see here is, on this right hand side, it gives in all this information and it talks about which ones are conflict, which one are non-conflict. If the confidence is high, I can easily go and simply click on merge. But if I scroll down, see here at the end, it is sorted. I have sorted this based upon the confidence level. In this case, the confidence is much less. Let me uh, show you for this particular one. So this research paper, has got these two entries, okay? And what is the difference between the two, okay? You can make out directly when I select this on the right-hand side, um, look for this. It says the confidence is much less compared to the previous ones. When I select the first one, look into the entries here. When I choose the second one, look into the entries here. Did you find the difference? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. In the title as well as in the author, see, see the way it is mentioned in? between this and this, okay? So with this then, as a researcher, you need to understand which one are correct and which one should I use, which one should I not use for. So based upon that, you can make this merge. Uh, for example, if I'm fine with this, the first one, which is saying 100%. So I, I'll exactly show the same thing what I did now. See the first one is this, second one is exactly the same. Not much of a difference between the two. Okay, wherein in the second one, there are some missing entries. In the first one, it has got all entries, but there is no conflict. Conflict could happen if for a particular entry, the uh, data is different, that becomes a conflict. Missing information is not a conflict here. So it says the confidence is much higher. If I'm satisfied with this, uh, uh, I can just say confirm merge, it will confirm it, it will remove. It says two documents have been merged. Uh, similarly, the next one, a very high confidence, so I can simply go and merge them. So that's the way I could look for the duplicates and merge them in order to avoid multiple entries existing. Now, what is the impact of it in your research paper that you must understand? For example, if I've cited this one paper separately in my research paper, and this has separately in my research paper here, I'm talking about in my manuscript, Okay, the way that I have mentioned in here, if these are different in the case, what would have, I'll just go back to APA 7. So in this scenario, what would happen is, whenever you open this Word document, since it uses the API, it does the scanning. 
it will be able to understand if there are any changes or if an entry is missing it will prompt you uh, to state whether you want to make an entry if an entry goes missing from your library for example if you have merged it in that case what happens out of the two or multiple entries only one will exist and if you have referenced them separately that could be an issue so it will prompt and say whether you want to make a new entry or are you satisfied with the new one that needs to be used in for so that kind of confirmation you will get whenever you open your manuscript or a document in microsoft world okay um, is it clear um, i forgot your name i don't know who asked this uh, yes sir this is subbarati sir yes sir okay. clarified clarified thank okay. you sir thank you very much okay any other questions before we close the call today